All right, <clears throat> this is a quick update. I made some changes. Um, changes that can be changed back and forth, I suppose, at a whim. You can see that I lowered the, um, I don't know what I would call these, these roof rafters or roof beams, supports, um, down so that their angle is kind of right here at the, uh, at the hip, sort of the top of the, the side. And what that enables is um, a very interesting length. If I go um, from all the way up, across, back down, 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 11 feet exactly. Like if it was in a tight fit 11 piece of 11 foot seat of plastic, it would staple to the both bottom runners. So a little over 11 feet would be fine. 12 feet would be able to be rolled up equally. But um, it makes it so that the height, the overall height from here coming up to here is under four, under five feet. It would wind up being about four foot seven inches which for what I'm doing might suffice. This is sort of a smaller scaled down version of a John Siskovich, I think his is six by 10. Um, and uh, his are taller. And also Jake at uh, Little White House, excuse me, not Little White House, White House on the Hill. He also kept them the same height. Now he, Jake's tall, John's not terribly tall, but to be able to get in inside the the uh, tractor is, an, I suppose, an advantage. My hope is they don't have to go into it too often, so Jake or um, John, if, if by some weird chance you should ever see this, you want to comment, tell me how often you actually go in. I'm thinking that I'd like to set it up on this piece of vertical board here, a uh, I think a five pound a five gallon bucket uh, going down to what I think is called a bell waterer. So it's got a little bit of a float in it. Um, I also have chicken nipples, and that's I have like a two-gallon bucket. I could use that, which I could hang on the inside. Of course, I could also hang it. I'm planning on putting the uh, the opening at this end, so that while it's on the trailer, it's very serviceable. You know, I mean, I'm looking. This is now at eyeball height for me, and I'm six foot three. So when this is here, I can actually you know work with this height really well. Um, maybe with the styrofoam boards in and some deep bedding in here, I might be able to pull off a, a deep bedding brooder that, I don't want to say that it'll stay outside, but I suppose it could. I mean, I see a lot of people doing them inside sheds. Hell, I have a shed, um, and I could put it in there. Um, I don't know what the advantage would be, so I might try to do it in this. Um, but anyway, by lowering this... I've now got uh, a few options because from here to the peak and back down is, um, I believe, six feet. Yeah, three and a half, three and a half, six. No, excuse me, five feet. Now I don't know. Now I gotta take out the old tape measure and see. Oops. So I think I did it. Three feet. So if I get myself some 36 inch chicken wire, I can easily wrap both sides. I think I'll have enough to staple to the top ridge here, stapling here, maybe using just one piece of trim wood to keep it held in place, go up to three feet up top, and I would just stitch it together with, uh, I don't know, some people call it chicken wire, some people call it uh, aviation wire. I call them zip ties, different things I could just zip tie together to get it three feet and three feet. That I think might be a good economical way of getting a, a, a roof on it with uh, support with the chicken wire just to keep critters out for protection. But it should also then, whoops, I think I lost the auto there we go. Uh, it should also then be able to hold the plastic tarp over the top, supporting it well. And I, here's the beauty of it, I can raise these beams or these bars back up and if I do that I then wind up with this elbow here and it's still mounted oops I'm not, this elbow here comes up to a height of about it's almost exactly four feet from the bottom of the uh, the runner 
So that four foot side makes me say, hmm, nice building size. I get the four foot piece of plywood to go along the side and I got a hardened wall pretty quick and easy. So I was happy about that and that was sort of just a coincidence. So now I got to figure out some sort of a door and I'm, I'm still, you know, because I was not sure what I was going to do with this, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to assemble it further now with this down and I'll go ahead and use it as a greenhouse, uh, a temporary greenhouse with it down. I might just about halfway up here, make some sort of a shelf so that I can have maybe two layers. Um, I don't know. So yeah, maybe I'll put a table inside of it. I don't know. I'll come up with something, maybe the wire racking, something like that, just to give me some more shelves and air and space that I can uh, put some starters in there. All right, so that's the, the latest on the, the mobile chicken tractor, greenhouse, brooder, sucking up my trailer. I can't admit that I, I, didn't, I didn't buy this trailer to do this. I bought this trailer off Craigslist for 400 bucks, and uh, man, I love it. It's galvanized, came with a title, the tires were brand new, the guy said he changed the bearings, I checked them, they were good. I put that little tongue jack on it, the back is over the fence there, it's got a gate that lifts off. The plywood deck is the original, it's a piece of marine plywood. I threw a coat of, um, what do they call it, deck over on there, and that seems to have given me a nice good uh, sealed surface. But I'll throw linoleum or something like that over it for the time that it's being a chicken brooder or something. I'll come up with some scheme to to get things to drain or do whatever. Maybe even just uh, something on a slope so that it'll drain naturally. All right, people. Thanks for watching. If you like it, say if you want, you subscribe. If you like it, click the thumbs up. And please, leave a comment. Sorry about the noise, but I live in uh, a noisy area. Thankfully, it gets quiet at night. But right now, I can listen, I can hear a helicopter, I hear construction vehicles, I hear some industrial motors. Um, it's it's kind of sad how much noise pollution there is here. Um, as I finish the recording here, just for a few more seconds, uh, you'll eventually hear things like the Long Island Railroad, the jets taking off from MacArthur Airport, um, what else? Lawn mowers in the summer. Not much in the way of chickens and roosters, though. Hardly ever even a dog. If a dog barks, people get all psycho and call the cops and try to have the owners arrested for noise ordinance issues. It's crazy. God forbid your dog should ever get loose. Anyway, it's kind of a gray day here in New York on Long Island. And uh, I'm going to head back in the house now and get some other things done. Alrighty, have a nice night.